What's going on guys, my name is Renegade. Today we're here for my full review of Legion Paladin. Now, I've re-recorded this video like six times now, and I don't really know what I want to do with this. But what I do know is that my old video I did on Legion Paladin, which was almost a review, called Is Legion Paladin Worth It? That video was on my main channel, um, and it's, it's from two years ago. And uh, it's bad. It's a really bad video. Don't watch it. It's awful. So I'm redoing that video today. But I'm also going to introduce some new concepts and stuff to you guys, hopefully, and just discuss the class ecosystem in general. And also, I think it's my duty as a YouTuber and, and as someone with $80 class in my inventory to uh, make a video about the said $80 class and tell you guys whether it's worth it or not. So, first of all, we'll talk about Legion Paladin and if it's if it's good or not. It's a soloing class. It is a, uh, perhaps a undead soloing class, you might call it. Its main effectiveness, of course, is against undead monsters. You deal more damage when fighting undead monsters. And that's the Paladin aspect. What this class tries to do is it tries to be Legion and Paladin at the same time. Now, it sounds kind of weird looking at it in today's, I guess, uh, I guess uh, ecosystem, I suppose, um, to think that Legion just means to damage yourself and to deal high damage. But back in 20, uh, early 2015, that was what Legion was. Legion was dealing damage to yourself. That was how Legion classes were perceived. And so uh, this, do this does the whole Legion theme and Paladin theme quite well. And I think the whole like art and the whole uh, just theme and concept in general is really, really cool. The, the armor, the uh, weapons, the cape, the helmet, all the whole ordeal is so cool. The Legion Light of Destiny is such a cool weapon. I think just all the stuff that comes with this class is amazing, except the class itself. Um, so I mentioned that it deals damage to itself, and that's true. Basically, you have, uh, I, I guess, three Legion abilities and one Paladin ability, I suppose. Um, then it has a Nuke ability, which puts a dot on yourself. It has a Damage Increase ability, which also takes the increases the damage you take, and it also has a minor regeneration ability. Um, <sighs> with this class falls flat as a Solomon class is its ability to sustain. What I mean by that is it really doesn't regenerate its mana very effectively. You can't really solo effectively with this class without limiting the way you use your abilities, and it already has pretty shady damage output compared to some classes today. Um, and so as a result, limiting yourself is only going to make you slower, and then it's just a shitty class. So, yeah, it's it's just not a good time, to be honest. Um, it, but it, it still hits some pretty nice nukes. So if you are if you are looking for a class that can uh, that can solo undead monsters, then you're really you're really looking at a really good undead soloing class. But then <laughs> this is an eighty dollar class, and you're planning to use it to fight undead monsters only. Nah, that's that's not that's not good. No, we're not we're not having any of that. So yeah, that's pretty much what I've got to say about Legion Paladin specifically. It's a it's a nice try. I think the concept of a Legion Paladin crossover is really interesting, and I think the abilities themselves hold really cool concepts. However, just in today's ecosystem, compared to other classes in the game, this class just holds almost no value at all. That being said, why why does this class hold no value at all? when compared to other classes. This is gonna be, gonna get a bit more of a rant style thing uh, here. So if you are confused about my points, then by all means leave a question in the comment section down below. After some reflection and no doubt after some uh, some sleep tonight, I'll wake up in the morning when this video is released and I'll be able to have a more clear idea of how my, uh, my thoughts are on the current class ecosystem in AQW. So uh, what I'm trying to say is, tomorrow morning when I'm replying to comments, I'll be able to tell you and give you answers to questions that you have regarding my points. So without any further ado, um, it, the reason why this class is bad is because every class that comes out in AQW is trying to one-up the last class that was released. What I mean by that, let's let's look at the classes. Let's look at the classes that were around when Legion Paladin was available. Legion Paladin was actually one of the best soloing classes in the game when it came out. In fact, it was, like, honestly, it was competing for the top spot. Like, you'd, you'd think Legion Paladin's so garbage. I mean, it really is pretty terrible in, in today's today's environment, but back back in the day, it was, uh, it was a pretty good soloing class. No, there was no real doubt about that. And so, uh, you know, it was it was good. Classes that, that were out at the time was stuff like, 
I don't even think Artifact Hunter was out. I don't know if that was out or not, but I, I don't think it was. It might have been. That would have been the best soloing class at the time. Um, but the best soloing classes were stuff like Card Clasher, Necromancer, you know, um, I can't even think of any other ones because it's been so long that I can't even name the ones that were good. But, uh, you know, there weren't really many good soloing classes out, and so as a result, Legion Paladin kind of took the top spot. At least one of the top spots. And so, uh, yeah, it was it was an interesting time, but, but the only reason why Legion Paladin still isn't at the top is because classes that have come out since have just tried to one-up the last class that was released. So... And they're really not adding any new kind of uh, concepts or, I guess, ability styles, I suppose. Let's go through some generic ability styles we've seen recently. So, let's look at Arch Paladin. Arch Paladin is a great class. It's a great Solomon class. Really, really effective. Um, and it, it, this kind of pulls in the whole Paladin system as well. So, it has a stackable effect that increases the damage you do, slowly but surely as you stack it up, and it stacks up to 50. It has a really effective heal, which also increases some other stats as well. Um, it has a, an ability that will give you better survivability, and it has a nuke. All right, that's that's a, it's, that's a some ability concepts we have there. Let's go look at Lightcaster. It's another class that was released pretty, pretty recently. So Lightcaster has an ability which uh, gives you more damage, and you stack it up, and, you know, it stacks up quite a, quite a few times, so you'd gradually stacking that up. It's got an ability that increases your survivability. It's got a, a nice heal, which also increases your stats in other ways. And then it's got a nuke. Huh. Let's look at Legion Doom Knight. Legion Doom Knight. It's got an ability which stacks up and increases your damage. It's got a heal. It's got a nuke. And it's got another nuke. It's got kind of like two nukes. This is a bit, bit different here. We've got two nuke abilities. It's got a little bit of an effect which in, which increases your survivability a little bit on one of the nukes. So I guess you've got an survivability increase ability, and then you've also got a nuke. So I mean, <laughs> they don't—they're not really introducing any any, any uh, new concepts. Let's look at some other soloing classes from back in the day. So we're just looking at soloing classes here. Artifact Hunter was a class that was good from back in the day. So you got a, uh, a ability which is actually where your main DPS comes from, you're spamming it, it's not really a nuke, but you do do a lot of damage from it, and you don't really consume much mana doing it, and it's just spammable, and you, it's really fun, and you just over and over again using this ability. Um, you got a dot kind of ability, similar to the one that I just mentioned, but it's dealing a, a bit less damage, but you're applying a dot that also increases with the other effects in the class. You apply a shield, which then reflects damage back at your opponent, um, and increases your resistance, and then you got a chance ability, 50-50 ability, that'll either increase your damage or give you a heart. That's that's different. I don't think any of those abilities can be compared to some of the more recent soloing classes that have been coming out. Um, why don't we take a look at something else that was really good at the time for soloing? Card Clasher. You deal some cards out, you consume those cards, and then if you want, you can raise the stakes, which damages yourself, but you can also it also makes the, the card abilities deal more damage and more effective. And then you also got an ability which uh, does damage based on your raise the stakes stacks. So none of that really shares any similarity. My point is, classes haven't really introduced many interesting new mechanics. An exception of this would be Void High Lord. That really did actually introduce some new mechanics, but even then it's still got some serious similarities with other classes. It's not really to the fault of AE or perhaps even the class designers themselves. It's really just at the fault of AE releasing so many classes in a game that has very little space to to introduce new mechanics. And I think this is where the server rewrite's heading. The server rewrite is probably going to introduce new mechanics where classes can show differences outside of just abilities being different. But especially recently, all that classes can really differentiate themselves on is their stats. All that, you know, Lightcaster has over... Uh, Legion Doom Knight is it just does more damage. Lightcaster just does a little bit more damage, and so therefore Lightcaster is just a little bit better. That's it. Card Clasher, if you look at that versus Lightcaster, Card Clasher is so different. It's so fun, so unique in the way it works. You know, Legion Paladin, for all its faults, it, it really is kind of unique in the way it works. Even like, Legion Doom Knight's kind of boring. I mean, um, Paladin, Legion Paladin, sorry, is actually kind of boring as well. It uses some of those same sort of uh, boring abilities I mentioned, but even still, like, it has some different mechanics outside of just increasing your damage, increasing your survivability, doing a heal, having a nuke. That All that sort of thing is kind of the, the copy-paste formula that a lot of classes have been using recently. I'm not trying to fault class designers, like I said. 
the game doesn't really hold much space for new mechanics to be released because the only thing that they're really fighting is just monsters that very rarely deal high damage and you're really running into 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 a spot where a lot of the concepts within the game are getting really stale and so i think this is an amazing time for the server rewrite to come out and introduce some more combat mechanics this relates back to my combat related video i did the other day or oh, the other week rather um where i talked about new combat mechanics that they can introduce but back to legion paladin um legion paladin's only only worse than uh, it's only a really bad class today because classes have come out since that have just introduced better ways to do what Legion Paladin already does and I think that's wrong I think cl classes should be good in their own right I think Legion Paladin should be good in its own right and it almost is it almost is good in its own right because it does extra damage to undead monsters but undead monsters are few and far between and so as a result you just got a kind of a shitty soloing class that's just been bested by so many other classes in the game that have been released since so, at the end of the day, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below, ask any questions related to what I said. I did drag on so much about my points, but hopefully you guys got the, got the message and got what I was talking about. Again, if you've got any questions related to what I'm uh, talking about, I'll be replying to comments as much as I can on this video, as long as you're asking something constructive and you're saying it in a way that's, you know, I mean, not just fuck you, I disagree, I hate you sort of thing. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.